you vary the yellows uh, intentionally to show different ages and different abuse levels on the work equipment, or was that just based on what you had at the time when you built the model? No, it was intentional. I was using uh, inspiration from Google. I was obviously abroad, and there's not a lot of railroading inspiration, especially when you're stuck on a lockdown in a <laughs> dormitory. So I was using either other modelers' results or just trying my best to Google through uh, websites okay. that sell used equipment to see what they look like. And obviously the weathering I've put on them is what you would call a winter weathering job. They've just gone through a hard, wet, cold winter and there's a lot of rust and stuff. So I was trying to give them the sense of that these types of equipment would be due up for an overhaul or being sold. I yeah. like that look to it. Yeah, they look I, they look really good. Oh, thanks a lot. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, they look really good. And it's something for all of us to remember when we are painting things that are the same base color. Mm. Variation is what happens in Mother Nature. It's what happens out in the wild. You can look at a tie gang along a rail line mm -hmm. and, and look at all the, there might be five or six, seven, 10 different pieces of equipment, find two that look exactly the same. Exactly, yeah. One's six months old, one's five years old, one's been repainted. So the, the variation actually looks, I don't know if our studio lights are picking it up, but the, the variation in the yellow looks looks right to me. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's, that's great. And um, thank you for donating those uh, to me. And, uh, <laughs> that's, that's I know a, they'll find a good home. Yeah, that yeah. was a good one.